Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am very very excited to be here today to talk to you about um, the March predicted versus actual budget and how we went for the month. Um, spoiler, we overspent but we also earned more. So I am going to go through the whole thing with you today, um, show you what we ended up saving and how we split it between our sinking funds and just yeah, talk you through it in general. All right, so um, just for privacy reasons, I have our incomes um, blocked out for my my income, Ben's income, and whatever extra income we made. Um, but I do show you the total incomes for what we predicted, what we actually earned, and then what the variance is, which we um ended up taking home this month an extra $1,829.85. Now, this was due to um, my husband doing quite a bit of overtime and also me selling a few bits and pieces on my Poshmark. So, in the yellow column here, you can see um, what the predicted spend for the month was, the white column is the actual spend for the month, and the orange column is the variance. So this month we budgeted to spend $1,805 for the month on our mortgage, uh, and this is exactly what we spent. Um, we planned to spend $500 on my car loan, and that's what we spent. Um, we also planned for $400 for Ben's car loan, and that was exactly what we did as well. Um, now we also plan to contribute an extra $750 um, this month to our mortgage, and we also achieved that. Um, our home insurance for this month was $115.50. Uh, the car insurance was $52.75. Um, Ben's car insurance was $66. Our health insurance, oh, sorry, uh, where am I? I've lost it. Um, our health insurance was $105. Um, my car rego and Ben's car rego was $46.66 each. Um, we hadn't started contributing to um, our investing shares, extra super repayments, or our work share program for the month of March. That's all juiced up due to start in April. So that video for our April budget um, plan is already up. So if you want to check that out, feel free to do so. Um, I will make sure that it is linked um, in at the end of the video or I'll put a little card up here for you to have a look at. Um, to $100 for electricity. Uh, now we did budget $125 for gas and we spent nothing because I was in advance on the bill because I like to pay all of our bills weekly in advance so that whenever the bill comes the money is already there and we don't have to scrounge around and find it. So because when I looked at our account I saw how advanced we were, I cancelled the payments for the month knowing that we were going to be able to cover it. Um, water was 75. Uh, Ben's phone bill was planned to be $122.17 um, but it actually we only ended up spending $75 for this month so we had um, a variance there of $47.17 not spent. Um, my phone was planned to be $144 um, and we only ended up spending $108 so that was a $36 variance there. Um, our Foxtel in internet was planned to be 240 and it was 180. Once again, the bill was in credit, so I just stopped one of the payments, which was $60, and that just like evened it out again. I don't like it to get too far in advance, um, and especially when I knew we had quite a few extra costs coming up this month, I thought we could use that money in better places. Uh, we planned 250 for council rates, and that's what we spent. Um, all of our subscriptions were what I said they were going to be. So you can see here we have Prime, Xbox, Google Play, Netflix, Stan, um, Adobe, Catch, Apple, and Spotify. And yeah, they were all as you would expect. Now this is where we start to see um, where we went over and under on a few things. So we budgeted to spend $200 this month for fuel. 
and we spent $194.33. So we were $5.67 under budget. Um, I budgeted $1,150 for groceries and we spent $817.08. So that is a total of $332.92 under the planned budget. Um, I planned, this is a really big one, um, I planned to spend $215.07 on dining out and takeout and we completely blew this out the water. <laughs> um, so you can see there that, that we ended up spending $639.52 which was $424.45 way over budget. Um, now we can talk to this. I like to keep some notes. Um, we got some Chinese takeout. We had McDonald's and KFC a couple of times. Um, we had pizza. Um, we went out for a really nice meal in the city when we went to the fringe, which contributed quite a bit extra. Um, and then we just, it was also our wedding anniversary and we decided to go out, which wasn't planned. So um, these things happen. We also knew that we were going to have a bit of a higher income month due to the amount of overtime that was being offered. So we weren't too concerned. And as you can see, we ended up spending under on the actual grocery budget anyway. So it, it wasn't it wasn't too crazy. Like it, it pretty much balanced out in the end anyway. Um, for entertainment, we planned 100 and we spent $81.69. So we were underspent by $18.31. Uh, and then I planned to spend $300 this month on medical um, and we only ended up spending $268.78. Um, now that actually came in cheaper so my eye specialist appointment was a lot cheaper than anticipated which was really nice and I also ended up getting crook this month and had tonsillitis and had to pay for a, a doctor's bill and some medication um, and lozenges and antibiotics and things like that. So that's what that came in at, but we were still $31.22 under budget. So I am not complaining. <laughs> uh, we plan to spend $60 this month on um, having the garden maintained and we only spent 33. So that meant we were $27 under budget on that. Um, the dogs had a haircut. Speaking of the dogs, no, stop. Sorry, they like to play in the room while I'm filming. So if you can hear anything, that's what it is. Um, but yeah, we they had that haircut and it came in at the $90. Um, we didn't have anything planned and we didn't spend anything this month on car maintenance, which was good. Um, now for miscellaneous, another area that we went completely over budget. But once again, like I said, I knew we were going to be having quite a bit of a high income this month so we weren't necessarily too concerned because we knew that we were still going to be able to save above what we planned anyway so you know if you're earning a little bit of extra money and you're putting in the extra time and hours and effort you know you should be able to enjoy it a little bit as well as saving so it's all about being responsible and making smart choices <laughs> uh, so yeah we planned for a hundred and we spent six hundred and forty nine dollars and eighty one cents so we were $549.81 over budget for that month. Um, like I said, not bothered. So we ended up doing things like um, going to, what do we do? It wasn't even going places, that was in the dining out. We had some a gift that we had to purchase for someone's birthday. Um, we ended up doing some miscellaneous activities that weren't quite planned, but so we just pushed some money across for those. Um, and there were just a few other little bits and pieces like um, a new set of headphones. Uh, yeah, I can't think of everything, but it's all accounted for and it's totally fine. And it has not really done any damage or put a hole in the budget too much. Um, didn't plan anything this month for Christmas. Um, so didn't spend any money there. And now for our splurge money, this money is normally 5% of our total income that we split and give to each of us. Now, that's worked out 
the five percent is worked out on what the planned income was and as you can see we ended up actually um, earning more than what we planned which actually meant that we ended up getting more to spend on ourselves throughout that the month um, plus a little bit of extra you know injection bonus <laughs> um, for um, a couple of the weeks when um, Ben bought homes of some nice extra paychecks which was good so we ended up actually um, putting $566 more this month into our own personal spending for whatever we wanted which worked out really well because Ben's birthday is next month so having a little bit of extra cash to be able to spoil him for his birthday was really nice so you can see here that we plan to spend $8,299 um, on all of our expenses for the month and we ended up spending $9,155.97 for the month which was $856.97 over what we budgeted but as I said we earned $1,829.85 more than what was planned so we also planned for the month to save $2,000 uh, but we actually ended up saving $2,972.88 this month, which was $972.88 more than what we planned. So that was a nice little surprise. So even with the overspend of $856, we still managed to put an additional $972 into our savings. So, I mean, I do look at it and kind of slightly go, oh, it could have been like, you know almost an extra two grand <laughs> that we could have put towards savings on top of the original two but do you know what you gotta live uh, so having said all that the next step was to um, divide this total here amongst our sinking funds for the month to build up all those accounts so I'm just going to move over here to our sinking funds page so this here is the goal for what we want in our sinking funds. Um, this is what we currently have in the sinking funds. And these are the funds that I contributed to the sinking fund for the month with the $2,972 that we were saved. So we were already maxed out for the emergency savings. So we didn't have to add any more to that. I added an extra $1,000 to our nursery saving fund. I also added an extra $1,500 to uh, my maternity leave saving fund. Um, and then I added $300 extra towards our savings fund. And I added in a new line this month for some sheer curtains that we really wanted. So um, whatever was remaining after I'd put these sums in came to 172.88 so that's what I put towards the sheer curtains this month and then I do just have a miscellaneous line for those other random things that might come up just out of our control but I know that's technically what an emergency fund is but it's just me being extra cautious and having a little bit of extra money put aside just in case. Uh, so in our uh, sinking fund savings account right now we have a total of twenty seven thousand dollars four hundred sorry twenty seven thousand four hundred and four dollars and fifty cents so we are way ahead of schedule for our saving for this year and we're really really happy about that and fingers crossed that we can have some more months where we earn some extra income and we can watch that savings go up and we can meet all of these targets really really quickly um and then start Know, putting some money back in other areas like investing because that is definitely something that we want to really really get stuck into as well as contributing some more money to our super anyway that's it for me today guys thank you so much for watching our march 2022 predicted versus actual budget update um, if you like these videos make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button if um, you want to stay tuned and keep updated with anything that I might post. Um, until next time, catch you later and I will talk to you soon. Bye!